Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. It also happens to be my birthday. I cannot believe that I am turning 27 years old today. That's just, that's insane. I feel like I just turned 26. Actually, I feel like some days, like my 21st birthday was just like a couple of years ago, or I feel like I just graduated high school, like not too long ago. Like where has, where is the time gone? It's just, it's insane to me. You know, when you're younger, and you just can't wait to be an adult. And then once you're an adult, like I, f I feel like I can't get time to slow down and it's insane. Also, I'm kind of a little bit peeved and upset that I feel like my 26th year was taken away from me. Like I'm sure a lot of us feel the same way about that. Sometimes I'm like, can I have my year back? But it is what it is. We're moving forward. I just can't believe I'm 27. That's just, that's just crazy to me. It just, it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like I'm three years away from 30. I'm honestly not a huge birthday person. I've never been. I get really uncomfortable when I'm like the center of attention and all eyes are on me. So I'm usually like super chill for my birthday. I'm not really into like doing big things or anything like that. We don't really have a lot planned. I think we're just gonna go to a local outlet mall and walk around, maybe do a little bit of shopping and then have dinner and that's about it. But it's just, it's insane. I can't believe I'm, I can't believe I'm 27. That's crazy. I'm going to try and be optimistic and hopefully this year will be better than the last. We will see what God has in store for me this year, but cheers to 27. By the way, I have been loving this coffee that I've been making every morning, which I showed you guys in the beginning of the vlog. Basically, it's like a salted honey cold brew, I guess you could say. I basically do iced coffee, a little bit of heavy cream, and then I put a drizzle of honey a little bit of vanilla syrup for sweetness and then a sprinkle of salt and I froth it up and just pour it on top and you guys, it is so good. It has been my new addiction. I have been drinking it pretty much every single day. It's probably not the healthiest, but it's really, really yummy. I've been really enjoying that. But yeah, that's pretty much all we have in store for today. Dagan is currently downstairs making breakfast for us. He's so sweet. He got me flowers and everything. He's, he's the best. He is absolutely the best. So yeah, all right, let's uh, go downstairs. <laughs> So I came downstairs and Dagan got me this beautiful bouquet of flowers and roses. They smell absolutely amazing. He also got me this cute little birthday card. He's so sweet. I'm really excited though, because I got this Revlon. You guys have seen it. It's like all over the internet, but basically it's like a hair dryer and a brush and it's supposed to style your hair and give it like a nice blowout. So I will have to try this before we go out today and see if I like it. I'm really excited about that. And then we got this guy over here. <laughs> Look at him. Hi, buddy. Alrighty, so I am just getting ready. We're about to head out. I'm just about to wash my face. I totally forgot to show you guys breakfast that Dagan made for me, but he just made some yummy eggs and then like the best hash browns. He just did like chopped up potatoes and I don't know what he did, but they were really, really good. So that is what I had for breakfast, but I really just need to clean my face real quick and throw on some makeup. And then I really want to try that Revlon brush thingy. I don't know if I can do it on dry hair, so I might have to dampen it. And my hair is kind of curled because I curled it yesterday, but we'll see. I really want to try it though. Okay, so I'm just gonna throw a little bit of makeup on. I haven't, I'm still not wearing any foundation. I haven't worn any for so long. I've just been doing like spot correcting with concealer. So I just wanna keep it light and fresh, but I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm still using my e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel, but I changed the shade to actually neutral brown. So it's a little bit darker, but I like how it looks with my brows. And I feel like it maybe matches my actual like hair a little bit more especially during like the winter. And then I just take my micro brow pencil and just kind of fill in the areas that the brow gel couldn't get because there weren't a lot of hairs. So for primer, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Putty Poreless Primer. I don't use this every day. Sometimes when I'm going out, I just kind of like to have something on. And I feel like it kind of tones down my redness and my cheeks a little bit. I don't know if I'm just <laughs> imagining all that, but I feel like it kind of helps with that a little bit. And then I'm just gonna spot correct. I'm just going in with my Maybelline Fit Me and I'm just gonna put a little bit in the corners and outer corners of my eyes where there's a little like bit of purple and redness and that's in the shade 10. And then I go in with the shade 15 and I just put it in between because I feel like when I use 10, it's a little bit too light. 
I feel like mixing the two kind of helps. And then I just go in with my brush and then kind of bring it down as I'm blending it so that I can kind of cover up some of the redness in my face. Now I'm just gonna use a little bit of pressed powder just to kind of set the under eye area so that there's no creasing and just in kind of like the areas where I might get a little bit more sweaty. I'm trying to rush because I feel like my camera's gonna die any second. <laughs> Okay, and then for blush, I'm going in with the same stuff that I always use, which is the Honest Beauty Cream Blush. This is in the shade Rose Pink. And I'm just gonna take this buffing brush and kind of stipple it on my cheeks. I don't know if you guys are into makeup or not, but I saw that Jaclyn Hill is coming out with a new collection. She's doing like a blush and bronzer duo, which I'm so excited about. And I haven't bought makeup just to like buy makeup because something new is coming out in a long time. Cause I, I only ever buy stuff if I like need to restock, but I'm, I might get it because it looks really good. All right, you guys, so we are all ready to go. Makeup is done. I used the Revlon hairbrush thing and I feel like it came out pretty good. My hair was already dry though, so I think I had a tougher time like styling it, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna try it again with like wet hair and see how it is like drying and then styling it, but I've, I like it. I like it. So yeah, we just have a sweater on, some jeans. Let's go over to the tiny little mirror. We just have a sweater on. I have it tucked in, it's actually like really long, so hopefully it doesn't look too funky all bunched up. Just some jeans and then my Air Force, Air Force ones, which I'm trying to get used to. I bought a thicker sock to wear, hello, can we move the tripod? Gosh, Michaela, get it together. I bought a, a thicker sock, so hopefully they fit better because I didn't realize when I, like when you buy these shoes, you should size down half a size. I, I didn't know anything about that. And I bought them my regular size, which is an eight. So they're a little bit big, but not like, not detrimental where I can't wear them. But I did buy a little bit of a thicker sock. I do like how they feel. We will see after we're done like walking around. Take two. I just talked to the camera and I wasn't even recording. Okay. Anyways, we just got back in the car. I didn't find any shoes. I've actually, I found a couple Adidas that I liked, but they didn't have it in my size. So I might look online, but those Fila's were actually very comfortable. So we'll see. And they were a lot cheaper. Isn't that, and that's like the style right now, like the chunky white sneaker. So uh, I might look into getting those. But other than that, I didn't, I didn't really get anything. Um, I got some sports bras, but other than that, I didn't really find anything I liked and Dagan's knee was hurting him. So we're gonna call it quits and go have some dinner. Right? <laughs> scared. There we go. <laughs> That's so cool. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Yay! Thanks, honey. Mwah. Thank you. Here we go. We're doing carrot cake this year. Diggin's also really happy because uh, <laughs> he hates German chocolate cake and that's like my favorite cake and he hates coconut, so. Switched it up this year. Carrot cake, I love also. I would love a glass of milk. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Mmm, pure sugar. Let's have a taste test. I forgot how good carrot cake is. That's really good. Thanks for a great birthday, babe. Welcome. Alrighty, so I'm just here to close out the vlog. Thank you guys for hanging out with me while I celebrate my birthday. I still cannot believe that I'm 27. That's just insane, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this year has in store. I'm hoping that it gets a lot better and that it's more eventful than last year. Here's to hoping. And yeah, so anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>